Greetings, pathetic mortals. It is I, Cthulhu, coming to you from the dimension of pain. I need to have a little chat with all you Americans out there. Some of you have really been making my tentacles twitch lately. I've been watching some of you condemn homosexuality from the beginning of your internet. Now you are all up in arms about their right to be married. Is it really so terrible? Before you answer, shut up and listen to your buddy Cthulhu. The first thing many of you say when you condemn homosexual marriage is that it is wrong in the Bible. Specifically, Leviticus 2013. <clears throat> if a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both have committed an abomination, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Oh my. Interesting. It says nothing about women laying with women. It also says nothing about them getting married. Hmm. Let's see what else Leviticus has to say. <clears throat> Don't wear clothes made of more than one fabric. Oh, so much for the t-shirts from my 2016 presidential campaign. <clears throat> Don't cut your hair, nor shave. Uh, don't grow either, I'm aces. Uh, people who have flat noses, or is blind or lame, cannot go to an altar of God. Oh, so much may have been in a bar fight Saturday night. <clears throat> wow, that's rough. And my cultists think I'm tough on them. Let's see what Deuteronomy says. <clears throat> if anyone, even your own family, suggests worshipping another god, kill them. Oh, so much for my cousin. If you find out that a city worships a different god, destroy the city and kill all of its inhabitants, even the animals. Mm, barbecue sauce? <clears throat> kill anyone with a different religion. Now it's gonna be a bloodbath. Wait, what about that commandment? The one that says, Thou shalt not kill? This doesn't make sense. Does your god really let you pick and choose laws to follow? I talked to quite a few gods, and let me assure you, they do not like it when you try to do their job. I also can't understand how you can be Christian and say you hate anyone. That Jesus guy said you should love everyone. How can you hate so much and be Christian? So, the Bible's out of this argument. Speaking of which, I keep hearing a bunch of you say that the USA was founded on Christianity. Did any of you take a history class? Have any of you read your Bill of Rights? The US was founded as a place of many freedoms. Along with that freedom of speech and that right to bear arms, one also has freedom of religion. The state was meant to be separate from any faith so any individual can feel free to believe as they see fit. Ever heard of the separation of church and state? No? Do you even know your own history? Hmm, <laughs> sad. Then I hear people say that allowing homosexuals to marry ruins the sanctity of marriage. Really? Half of you Americans get divorced, some of you multiple times, and you think marriage is so sacred? Besides, a civil marriage and a religious marriage are two separate things. Once again, we see the separation of church and state as well as religious freedom. So their faith says homosexuality is okay. Guess what? You have to deal. They have the same rights you do. Then some of you ask, what next? Have multiple wives? Marrying animals? Well, some of you humans already have multiple spouses. As for animals, if ever they are granted American citizenship, you can bet they'll be allowed to marry, vote, pay taxes, and bitch about human marriage. Honestly, none of this surprises me. America, you are really behind for a first world country. No national health care, loose food quality standards, poor public education, heck, even your vending machines are crap. Buy a cup of coffee from a vending machine in Germany, and it tastes like ambrosia in a cup. Buy coffee from a vending machine in America, and it tastes like someone managed to burn water. Blech. Even after all this, some of you are going to refuse to listen to old Cthulhu. Some of you are going to stick to your guns and stand against homosexual marriage. Well, tough nuggets for you. The Defense of Marriage Act has been declared unconstitutional. So, what will you do when your country legalizes gay marriage? Move to another country? Most of them have either legalized gay marriage or are headed toward it. Also, considering how many countries dislike Americans, 
you're running out of options. So just stop it. Let it go. Let them be happy. If your god really has an issue with homosexuality, let your god deal with it when they die. Everyone should stop griping and be happy, because you'll appreciate any happiness you had when the stars are right. On that day, all of your happiness will be nothing but memories. Hey, Cthulhu! Uh, yeah, babe. I've been reading this Bible you've been carrying around. Yeah, what about it? I don't know about this story. What's wrong? It has more plot holes than Twilight. Uh, yeah. It's kind of like that for most of it. But when we get to the part about the Jesus guy, he's pretty cool. You mean that guy that lives down the street from us? Uh, no. A different Jesus. Oh. I'm kind of hungry. Do we have any Twinkies? Nah, we're fresh out. Wanna go get some? Sure! Alright, come on. <laughs> 